Hey everybody, Anzac here. Welcome back to the world of Hammerhelm. The sun is coming up and we are going to set forth on an adventure. This is Hammerhelm. This is my epic dwarven city. Oh, we've got a new quest. Uh, this is my epic dwarven city and uh, the dev has told me that the cave is now fixed. And so we are going to clear the cave of the monsters and ghouls or whatever's in it and then uh, proceed to clear the ruins of uh, ghosts because there was a restless spirit in one of the guys houses and he will not work until we clear the clear the house of the restless spirit and now we have a monster camp that we need to destroy so this is a city builder game if you guys do not know if you did not see the last episode this is a city builder game but you have the ability to enter it enter into this mode right here and actually control your character and do things in the world. It's pretty cool. I actually really like the looks of this game. Here's the cave. I really like the looks of this game. It's uh, very beautiful. And so far I've been having a lot of fun in the game. And so we are going to enter the fungus cave and clear this thing. Now this is the cave that we could not get uh, past like this barrier that was here last time. And the dev told me it was a bug. And so we are going to hopefully clear this now and kill these mushroom things the fungus the fungus of uh death nets what am i saying get wrecked fungus the <laughs> there's one on there's one flying i didn't ow he snagged me i didn't realize that they could fly yeah what up dude so there's like different attacks i can do and then there's also like i can block and stuff and then there's like a jump attack that i cannot seem to do anymore I was able to do it at first, but now I can't seem I can block. Oh, yeah, I can't seem to do it anymore. Whoa, this cave is massive. Seven monsters left. Let's get the copper here. We're going to mine some copper. This is used to make various things. Uh, I really wish you could just run over them. Oh, run over the stuff and collect it. That'd be nice. Oh, my gosh. This cave is massive. The other one was not nearly as large as this one. Oh, there's just something purple down there. I think maybe the purple one's... Uh... Oh, no. He's going to hit me. Ah! I think maybe the purple ones explode, so we gotta look out for that. Are you ready to do your death dance? Hey, purple guy. Whoa, I keep feeling like they're gonna hit. Oh, he's, dude, he's gonna hit me. I wish the, I, I, I think the uh, combat system is okay, but it needs, oh my gosh. It needs a little bit of work. Oh, okay. Uh, but I wish those things actually like spit at you. That'd be a cool, cool thing to have them do. Yeah, this game's pretty good. It's like, I think it's being developed by one guy, and so, um, for what it is, one guy doing it, that's pretty good. Ten copper ore. We need gold, okay, because we need to make, I want to make a stonemason shop, because I want to make a well, because I think that's important, but I cannot get gold, and so, I got a bunch in the last episode when we went to the dungeon and cleared the dungeon, so I'm really hoping that when this quest is over, we'll get a bunch of gold, because that would be... Great. I also think this would be cool. I, you know what? Maybe we'll get a different weapon this time around to see what the uh, different weapon looks like. I, I, I just think like uh, if we had the ability to shoot something too, that would be great. But that would make it too easy, I think. It's The combat's already pretty easy. Oh my gosh, that camera view. Uh, the combat's already pretty easy, but um, if you could shoot at something, it would be like ridiculously simple. But yeah, I, I like the game. It's obviously pre, pre-alpha. It's got a lot of work yet to have done, but the core mechanics are pretty good, actually. They're not bad at all. All right, let's run down here and get these last two guys, and then we're going to head back to the village or uh, to the ruins and destroy the ghosts there to uh, make sure my guys can get back to work because they're one of them. I, actually, I think a couple of them are like kind of slacking off, not doing anything. Dude, when he does, like, the final kill, that's what it is. Ah! He almost hit me. When he does the final hit is when he, like, freezes like that. I see. Oh, snap! We got a ton of gold. I have a basic sword, but we're going to also get another one, I think, maybe. Dang, man. I don't know what these mushrooms are used for yet. Okay, escape to leave the cave. I like that you can do that. Okay, let us go and clear the ruins. Yeah, I think these are the ruins right here. I didn't even realize I could jump. Oh, yeah, let's do it, ghosts. Ghost baddies. <laughs> I don't know how we're able to kill ghosts with uh, a, a giant dwarven axe, but apparently we can. I think you can get awesome. Oh, that was it? 
I think oh no that was just part of it I think you can also get uh, like different types of like levels of weaponry depending on the buildings that you make and so I think we can get like rune axes and stuff and all kinds of cool things hey I missed them like 20 times there yeah the kill shots always like that okay I need to f oh he hit me ouch my, my butt he shot he hit me right in the booty all right so speak to the restless spirit oh here he is right here all right what up thank you I can never repay you for what you've done I can now leave this realm now yeah he couldn't like cuz uh, he couldn't leave because he was like uh, yeah he's being disturbed or whatever okay copper ore deposit has been discovered above ground let's go do it okay this is the copper ore thing up here but why why did it have me come all the way I mean I went so far out here to get it. this makes me think something's gonna happen or something's gonna come although I think there's an another one no that's that's that was the quest okay well let's go back to town and destroy the monster camps but Dude, we came so we're so far away from camp right now. It's crazy. We got monsters. We got trolls or something. They're like orcs. They they're literally oh nice. I didn't have to stop to hit them that time. Yeah, they're freaking orcs. Get wrecked, orcs. Wow, that's it. Okay, so somebody's now sick too back at the uh, at the camp. But once again, we have ran so far away from the camp that it oh I can see it in the distance. It's gonna take me a while to get back there, but you can see the lights. We're 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 not that far away. It just seems like so far away because we ran from the other quest location, which was even further away. We have arrived back at home, back at our camp, and uh, back at our village, and it's going pretty well. Find the creatures in the ruins and destroy them. Uh, maybe maybe after I build some stuff, I've got so much gold now that I can build all kinds of things. Okay, hold on. Before we do that, let's go and build this stone mason shop. We need this to make the well. So we're going to put this right Let's let's make a let's make a road go out in another direction. I fear that I've kind of screwed up my village because of the fact that I can't Maybe I could do it like this. We'll make this little this little like section right here house. I'm going to do it like this though. All right. And then let's put down a, uh, where is it? The stone water well. We have enough. What's this town tree do? Makes the town a bit nicer. Does that really matter? I kind of want to, oh, crap. I kind of want to put it, like, right behind here because I'm assuming that it's going to be used by all kinds of houses and stuff. And it's, it's green, and so it doesn't need to, I don't think it needs to be touching a road. Um, I'm not sure. Hold on, let's see. Let me, let me just, uh, can I cancel? Can I cancel this? P. I don't know how to cancel. It brings water to, to home, so I'm going to put it right here. Right in the middle. Just to do it. Okay. So we're going to do that. Oh, sweet. Stone mason shop looks awesome. So the well's back here. Here it is. So this brings water. I don't think it really is necessary. I think it's going to help. But now we got the stone mason shop, and we have to uh, assign a worker to it. And so let's see. There's I don't know. I don't think you can deselect this, unfortunately. Worker. So we need one worker always who's chopping trees and stuff. But now we have a stone mason. Yeah, I don't. You can't like deselect it. Okay, here's door. What do you got, door? What's going on, man? He's sick. I haven't been feeling well. Perhaps the healing potion would help me feel better. Dude, is this guy, isn't this the guy that always needs the health potions? Now I don't have any health potions. What am I supposed to do now? Okay, let's, let's, uh, wait, 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 why am I in here? I want to craft something. Okay. Why am I not able to craft things? Um, I have an axe. There's no crafting menu here. What in the world? We have a problem. I can't get rid of this thing. So I'm, I'm afraid that if I quit the game, it's going to completely reset progress. But then again, it is a download. It's not like on Steam or something. So it might save my location. Hopefully. Unfortunately, it did reset me because it didn't save it. 
And so I have to redo these quests. Oh, it's such a sad day. It took a long time to run to the, some of these things. And so, well, it probably didn't. But to me, it just seemed like it because I, uh, I, I don't know. But so I got to redo some of these. That's okay. But before I leave, though, I can get these guys to build that stonemason place because it only costs 500. And I have 641. And so I should be able to do it. Anyway, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Stone Mason Shop. There it is. It's okay. Things like this happen, especially in early alpha type of stuff. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Hey, what up, dude? You got something in your house? Oh, well, you got a ghost in your house? Oh, don't worry. I'll check it out, man. I'll check it out. Look at this. I got him. Hey, what up, ghosty? He needs help. Residents of this home, but my spirit is trapped in this world by other ghosts near the ruins. It must be returned. Ah! What in the world is this? Look at this area here. This looks totally different. And then there's like these little fairy orb things floating around. Little wisps. What in the world? Whoa! I thought I, I thought everything looked the same, but this is to this is a totally different area. Okay, so I'm assuming we're probably gonna have to come here at some point in the future to do something. So now it's no longer Dora or whatever his name is. That's sick. But Symes the Miner. All right, we are back in town. So now we can go ahead and make that well again and not have to. Okay, so let's see. What does the well say? Look at that alchemy shop. Looks sweet. Uh, the, the well says brings fresh water to nearby homes. So I can probably just put it like right here and it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to go ahead and do that and then find Symes. There he is right there. Symes. Simmises. You sick, bro? Here you go. Get better, man. All right, there we go. Now, you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The game has been saved now, door, so don't screw up on me now, okay? Craft. There we go. All right, iron ingots. So I kind of want to try the iron, uh, ha the copper hammer. But, oh, dude, copper helmet. What? What? I don't have any of this stuff yet. Okay, hold on a second. Let's make the helmet first. So we need 6, 11, 16, belt. Do I need that? 20? Shield? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the potions. All right. Well, we're just going to make a bunch of this stuff right here. Actually, we could probably just use all of the copper ore for just whatever we want. Because we're going to get a ton more. I mean, there's literally, it's everywhere. And so we're going to get more. Let's make a copper helmet. Dude, that's sweet. How did I not have this? Copper shoulder armor. Left shoulder, right shoulder. Oh, you got to make two of them. Oh. Fold? Is that like a tunic thing? Belt? And trash. <laughs> Just joking. All right, there we go. Now I'm like completely coppered out. And then we can make health potions, dude. I didn't even realize we could do that. Stamina potions, the same thing. I don't really use stamina potions, so I don't need that much. But now I don't feel bad about giving potions to these dude. Oh my gosh, I look so cool. Hold on. Let's make something else. Let's make a different weapon. I've got eight. Can I make anything? I need 12. 12. I need 12 of them. 12 of them. If anyone knows what that's from, I will be shocked. Oh, look at how much health I have now. The HP just went skyrocketing up as a result. Give me more. I'm going to make some more health potions. We're going to need more health potions. Dude, how did I not notice these before? I feel like an idiot. There we go. Health potions are good. Wow, it takes a long time for the health potions. Speak with Symes the Miner about disturbances in his house. Oh, man. Dude, seriously, I look so cool. Is there a different... Can I get a different cam view here of myself? Or is this all that... Is this the only way to that you can see yourself? What about, like, F1? F1 brought up the tutorial. Any of the F keys do anything? Nope. Doesn't look like it. All right, it doesn't seem like I can actually look at myself. Oh, yeah, we need to uh, set a stonemason. All right, Symes, what's going on, dude? He's got somebody in his house, I guess. He can't sleep. I'm guessing it's probably a restless spirit, and we got to go clear the camp. Yep, okay, so that's the same same thing. Now, here's a question. 
We've got the stonemason, right? Let's see what he can do. Can he do anything? Quest shop? Huh. He can't do anything right now. I wonder if let's... I want to go in this mine for a second and see if there's anything in here. I look freaking awesome, man. Yeah, boy. And the town is coming along nicely. Can we... I like the stonemason shop. That's really cool. Yeah. I wish there was a way to get rid of the HUD and a way to look at your own at your character. That would be really cool. Because I have like a sweet looking helmet now and stuff, you know? Look at my guy, he looks awesome. But I can't check him out! I wanna see what he looks like from the front. I bet there's probably a way, I just don't know what it is. Alright, I wanna go in here and see. Enter a safe level. Explore a new level. What? There's multiple levels of a mine. This must be what he's working on. Cool. So is there any way to... I couldn't enter a, a le that level, like the next level. And this looks like a dead end. Oh wait, no, it splits off. Let's go down here. I want to find out how do I get down to the next level. Do I need to actually like walk down to it? To like trigger it for the first time? Or... Yeah, I don't know. Multiple levels. It's kind of cool. Alright, so I'm guessing it's this way. Stamina is still the same, but our HP went way up. Jump. Jump. I think you move a little faster when you jump. Some games are like this. When you when you jump, it like lunges you forward a bit. And so you kind of get the best of both worlds. I don't... Oh, man. This mine is gigantic. I don't remember it being this big. Was it this big? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe it was. I'm not too sure. Alright. Is there... Oh, dead end. Dang it. I can't... Oh, I can't leave. I can't leave the mine like I can in the, uh, when you do a quest. Okay, we're back out of the mine. Let's see this. Enter has unexplored levels, but I can't enter another level. So, I'm assuming that... And then that icon right there at the top, I think is just like your bit showing you where your base is. I think he kind of added that. Was that in before? Or did he add that in because I was stupid and I couldn't find my way? I got lost. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so we've got a couple of the same quests to do. But I want to see what this place looks like inside. Oh, dude. This is cool, man. Look at this place. All right. I like this place a lot. The stonemason shop. Do, 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 do. Okay, I got a bunch of money. Let's see if we, we can make something else. Why are you not working, bro? You got nothing to do with your life? None of these guys are working. Huh, okay, let's, uh, let's pee. Let's hit P. We got lamp post, stone fountain. 100 bucks for that? No way, dude, I ain't doing that. We got a marketplace, infirmary, sewers, tinker shop, alchemy. What about alchemy shop? Weaponsmith shop, armorsmith. Oh, 500. Can make another farm kind of pointless though i want to get enough money to make a oh an alchemy shop maybe two farms for that though okay well there's our answer we can make a carpenter shop new structured furnitures and tools alchemy advanced potions i guess it's not that important advanced armor but we need a carpenter shop first Okay, well, there's our answer. So, carpenter shop is the first thing we're going to have to build next. And then we can make these things. Okay, so we've got a new cave, I think. But we keep getting the exact same uh, quest over and over again. So, I think it's probably in some kind of cycle. Uh, which, like I said, pre-early pre alpha. Got the core mechanics in. Things are, things are good. But, you know, obviously variety is one thing that needs to be done. Um, oh, here's the monster camp I need to clear. A little variety never hurt anybody. Which I'm not I'm not bashing or anything, guys. I, I think this game's pretty cool. And I think this is a great great game for one person doing this. This is crazy. Jonathan what's his name? Jonathan Caldro or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember his name. I'm getting that go, baby. I'm gonna get all that go. We're gonna get it. Alright, here's the cave right here. I love that the monsters put torches on the top for us to see from ways away. I don't know uh, 
it, obviously that's not the case. Somebody somebody was doing something here. They put torches on there, and then the monsters have invaded it. But we we will we will uh, kill them all. Lots of monsters in this one though. Alrighty, back at town with a lot more money and some more copper, and so we're gonna go ahead and make some new stuff. Carpenter shop. But I think I need another house though, because I don't know if I have enough people. Uh, this guy's got yellow. I wonder if that means like morale or something. G get healthy, bro. Get all health up. All right, so let's see here. So I I currently do not have anybody free because I use them in the mine, unfortunately. And so I wonder if we're gonna be able to actually do anything or assign somebody to the carpenter shop. We need the carpenter shop in order to make these things. And so I kind of want to see that what that is if I can. So let's do that right now. Um, how do you see to spin that around? That'll be cool to have that right there. Well, guys, unfortunately, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it for the video right there because uh, the game crashed at, on me right at the end of that last clip. And so it's going to have me redo a whole bunch of quests. And I actually don't have any quests. I don't have any armor or anything. Oh my gosh. It reverted me back so far. It's very disappointing. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one.